Okay, so we're going to do a um, quick, well, a talk on how to draw the half. So this is aimed at um, learning a way to draw the heart to remember the major vessels, the major arteries and veins, and the valves. So that when your consultant asks you on a ward round, you'll be able to picture it in your head, or when you're in clinical practice, you'll know where everything's going, or just if you're a biology or med student or whatever, just a technique. Okay, what I'll do is, I'm using a thicker pen here for the sake of the video. Usually I just use one lighter pen, um, thinner pen for the whole thing, but for the sake of the video, I'm using a thicker pen. So it goes like this. Start off with a figure eight. Two figure eights next to each other. Or if you like, two infinity symbols next to each other. That gives you the general layout of everything you want to do and put an axis through the middle. Then draw a circle up here. Draw another circle next to it. Then draw an arc under that circle. And an arc down here. And there's one vessel, well, the third vessel down there. And then another one here like that. So those are the shapes you want to start with. And there you've already got all your four vessels. This is the left side of the heart, this is the right side of the heart. We're drawing basically the heart in the anatomical position and we're more or less, I can demonstrate to you if that's the heart altogether, even though the heart's not quite that big, or me it's only that big, um, I'm pulling the front off like that and you're looking straight into it. So pulling the front off and this is what you'd see. Well first of all we'll label the left atrium, the left ventricle, the right atrium and the right ventricle. Just think atriums are like, um, to help me remember, an atrium is what a little bird lives in. And I always think of Tweety Pie, he doesn't need a very thick cage to keep him in, or a bird doesn't need a thick cage, so it's a thin vesseled, uh, a thin, thin walled vessel. Now, let's draw the outside of our thin walls. Just draw a thin wall and then a little nick, and coming like that and then another thin wall and just draw them with a little nick going in there and coming out. Remember our ventricles down the bottom are thicker walled vessels to make them look a bit thicker. Bring it to an apex there and then bring the apex back up and around and to a nick. So now we've got a wall thickness everywhere so our nice thick walls down here and our thin walls up there. Now let's go through from our right atrium around and put in all our entrances. We've got our superior vena cava entrance, inferior vena cava, and we've got our one, two, three, four, draw four little circles in there like that, and that's where our uh, veins, pulmonary veins in, coming back from the lungs. Now let's put our valves in, we've got four valves, so let's go to our aortic valve, and then let's pulmonary valve. Now these are both leaves, so I put a little peace sign in there to indicate the leaves on the valves. And then between and ventricles, just draw in a bit of black there. Just a line is all you really need. And then maybe like that. And that's where our other valves are there. Just sort of render it, shade it in a bit. And our other valves are our mitral valve, which goes between our left atrium and our left ventricle. Mitral valve. And our tricuspid valve, which is a three-leaf valve again, tries a giveaway. And that goes from our, lets the blood flow from right atrium to right ventricle. And then putting your cordate tendon I just draw a line that goes from... Uh, the lip of this valve down to there, down to there, that's your chordate tendon eye, and again there, and again there. Now, let's draw the veins and arteries coming in and out of the heart. So you've got the SVC there, draw it like that. You've got the, and just sort of keep the pen off the page and drop it down. There's our inferior vena cava, IVC coming there. SVC. IVC, easy stuff. Now, what I like to do is, and what I think is a good technique, is you bring the pen, leave it off the page, sort of move up, and then only start the arc from the top of the left atrium. So keep it up, keep it up, and then go, and then put a three little offtakes. 
and just go that far. We don't need to go any further yet. So just do an arc like that. You can just do a single arc and just put three lines. And if you make mistakes, it doesn't matter. You just keep drawing. So this is now our next thing is we go to our pulmonary valve. And then again, just leave the pen up like that. And then when you get to the top, just go like that and make a little, little left turn there. Well, left turn, but to the right side of the body. And then from the other side, go up again. And then just like that there. And there's your pulmonary artery starting to take shape. And draw a little Y, little U shape there and continue it up like that. And then give yourself three branches just to be indicated when it's splitting off. And then we can do the other side of the aorta. So just bring your pen there, it's going to be about here. And then curl it back around like that. And then there's your descending aorta there. And there it is going to be there. Again, just drop it down like that. And then extend this through here. And put in your, your branches, just to be indicative. And then you might want to put for your venous return to your left atrium, just put in the little pipes going in there, one, two, and then over here, one, two. I just like that. And um, remember again, it is schematic, it's to help to remember everything is. Then coronary arteries, just put them there to remember they're there. And remember they come off the other side of the uh, aortic valve. So now we've done all of that, we can show where the blood goes, it's really easy. I've done it in the other video, but I'll do it again here. Um, oxygenated blood comes in here, and here, and here, and here. It goes through the mitral valve, from the left atrium into the right ventricle, sorry, left ventricle, and then through the aortic valve, and then up the ascending aorta, over the arch of the aorta, and down. So you've got the left subclavian, which goes that way. Then you've got the common left cartoid, which goes up. But this one splits later. So this is actually your brachiocephalic. And just remember, cephalic's towards the head. So brachio goes somewhere else, just remember that. And so the brachiocephalic, and then that splits to our right subclavian and our right cartoid. That's how I remember it. And then our deoxygenated blood collects itself from all over the body and goes to the SVC, the IVC, into here, and then into the uh, right atrium, then the right ventricle, and through the pulmonary valve, and then there we go, nicely from the trunk to the left and right branches of the uh, pulmonary artery, and off to the lungs, that's basically it. So, what I'll do now is, I'll try and draw it very quickly, how you might do it in a test or in your head later on to remember everything goes. So I'll do a very quick version here. A little bit small, but okay, it'll have to do. And that's basically it. Um, I made one or two errors there. I shouldn't have come down here, but it doesn't really matter. And my little takeoffs are a little bit far down, but that's basically how you do it.